All right, in this video, I'm going to discuss how to construct Bonferroli adjusted confidence intervals. All right, so uh, before I get to that, just briefly, what is the idea here? Uh, Excel, I, you know, I'm running this uh, multiple linear regression model. Excel gave me confidence intervals when I checked that little box that I wanted confidence intervals in my data analysis tool pack, right? Um, but these confidence intervals, they're only valid when you interpret them one at a time. So uh, we're 95% confident that this parameter, this coefficient, is between these two numbers. Um, but when we start thinking about, you know, interpreting that nine times, these all nine of these um, confidence intervals, our confidence overall goes down. Okay, so Bonferroli just adjusts for that. And why does it go down? Okay, uh, let's think about this, um, you know, with a flip of a coin. Say I have a 95% chance of gain ahead, right? It's like a really weighted coin. Uh, so I'm pretty confident that like, I'm gonna get ahead when I flip that coin, right? Um, but if I flip it 20 times, 30 times, overall, right, each, each individual flip, I'm pretty confident I'm gonna get that head, right? 95% chance of getting it. But overall, I start losing my confidence and I'm gonna keep getting that head, right? The overall picture is that eventually a mistake is gonna happen, the error is gonna be made, the tail is gonna land, okay? And that's like that's like a classic problem in statistics. It's called like the multiple testing problem where you have, you, you do so many tests that uh, you basically, you're inflating your chances of making a mistake. Each individual test has a pretty good You've 95%, you, you feel happy about it, but when you keep on doing that over and over again, your chances of getting making a mistake gets higher and higher. So the Bonferroli adjustment is a very conservative adjustment. Uh, and what it does is basically, um, so you know, a normal, a normal confidence interval looks like this. So like you'll take your estimate, so say B1, right? This is B1. You'll take your estimate and you'll say plus or minus T alpha divided by two N minus P, that's your degrees of freedom times the standard error of uh, B, B1, okay? So this is of B1. So this is like, you know, uh, you, the, the way, the, this is the way, you know, uh, that Excel is calculating this confidence interval. So the Bonferroli adjustment says, okay, you know, so we divided it by two because we had two tails. Uh, we divide alpha out by two. And you know what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna divide that even a little further. Uh, we're going to divide that by two times G, where G is the number of confidence intervals that you want to interpret at one time. So uh, this guy here, this guy is called uh, the Bonferroli uh, critical value. So B crit, okay? And uh, so suppose that I want to um, construct a 95% uh, confidence interval, or construct a 95% confidence interval uh, for all nine parameters. So I want to be 95% confident uh, for all the nine, all, all the nine confidence intervals. How would I do that? So I would figure out, first I would figure out what is this B crit, all right? And it's gonna equal T dot uh, inverse, okay? The probability that we're gonna give it is alpha, well, well it's one minus, right? You always say one minus. And then what's alpha? Alpha is, um, if it's a 95% confidence interval, then it's 0 0.05, right? So, uh, there we go. So point or 0 0.05, that's alpha for a 95% confidence interval. Divide it by, now use parentheses so that you can include both two and G. G is nine, because I have nine confidence intervals I'm talking about right here. Close parentheses, okay, comma, now I need the degrees of freedom. What's the degrees of freedom? N minus P. Uh, I have 13, three, eight uh, observations, right, that's up here minus 10, I have 10 parameters, right? Guys, don't forget, you still have this um, intercept, right? So that's B0 through B9, so that's 10 total. Uh, close parentheses and press enter. Okay, so let's go ahead and construct. So we have lower 
Uh, I'm going to call this lower bond preferably. I'm sort of typing that out. Lower bond uh, CI and then upper bond preferably CI. All right. So what I want to do is I want to take my coefficient for the lower, I'll subtract the B critical value. Okay. And I want to lock that B critical value because I want that to always be right there, right there. Okay. And then I want to multiply that, oops, multiply by the standard error. Okay. Upper, same thing. Take your coefficient. Ooh, I did not mean to be doing this for the intercept. Let me delete that. Okay. So right here, starting with the first B1. Okay, so don't do it for the intercept because then otherwise I'm constructing it for 10 parameters, not nine. So starting with B1, okay, minus B crit, okay, lock in B crit, use your dollar signs in front of I and 34 times standard error. Okay, grab the right one, press enter, equals plus. Right, for the upper bond for only, it's gonna be plus B crit, and make sure you lock it in. Okay, times this standard error, press enter. All right, and you're not gonna to have to type that in for all of these, you can just click on these cells, highlight them, and then get your cursor to look like that black cross, double click, and it'll fill it all in for you. So you see each one, it's taking the coefficient, it's multi minus for the lower, it's minus, then it's this guy times the standard error. Very good. All right, so there you have it. These are my nine uh, confidence intervals. And I'm 95% confident about all of these intervals, you know? So, um, you know, it's interesting to look at these confidence intervals and to see which ones contain zero and which ones don't. Uh, when you contain zero, it's potentially a, um, a insignificant uh, parameter. Uh, so, you, you know, the um, variable may not be significant to the model. Uh, so, you know, let's see which ones contain zero and which ones don't. Uh, when you have negative to negative, that's not containing zero. Positive to, or negative to positive, zero is between these two numbers. So, um, negative to negative, negative to negative, positive, 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 all of these uh, do not contain zero. 